what's up guys thank you for joining for another pokemon wi-fi battle with yours truly that's render so right today i'm going against Sawdasha. um nothing serious here he's bringing really really tough guys here being both excelgore miss Magius, which my team actually isn't built for uh archaeops that pesky electavaya float seal actually and girder girder is really tough and uh, look at the my team i did some switches here i just want to try some things out so i bring a lantern radicate octillery jump bluff slow puff and clang i want to try out clang as i semi magneton worked ish it isn't that strong it's defensive enough though but you know lack strength and also this team that he's bringing is really really tough against mine my own winning condition is to keep my radicate healthy my radicate can one shot both Excel Gore, Miss Magius, and can outspeed both Electabuzz and Girder and Floatseal. Obviously, Girder have Mac Punch, I should be very aware of that. And other than that, you know, my fiance watched one of my videos and said, I need to speed things down so you hear what I'm saying. I'll take that. <laughs> I'll listen to her. And I'm actually going to speed down the video to explain a little more on my thought process. Uh, if you like that, I'll actually keep that. Or if you didn't mind it in the first place, then I'll speed it up as usual. But nevertheless, some speed it down there. But let's actually... So in the beginning here, I was so sure that he was going to bring either Archeops or bring in actually Miss Mages. He will start off with the Herder, the Girder, and I'm bringing a Lantern. Uh, I know I'm slow or faster, so I actually switch out here because I don't want to take that Rain Punch. Pretty much, you know, bring in Sunday here to activate the red card. It's somewhat a waste to consider that it would have done a much more effective job later in the game but you know what at least i resisted some damage there so anyway i go for dazzling gleam i don't do enough and uh, he will start setting nasty blood so i do expect him to go for a shadow ball you know for doing as much damage as possible so i'm gonna bring in my eradicate just for a free switch in and uh, uh. so yeah this was a huge misprediction that is one of my winning conditions for this game but I have a lantern leads that is especially defensive, you know, I know we can take a hit and retaliate. So I, I am not too worried about this shadow ball. Uh, uh, alright, alright. It's not over. It's not over. Worst thought ever. So anyway, we're bringing Clang here. No one I can wall whatever comes here. So I actually decided to go for Discharge if, in case I actually decide to switch out. So I get him paralyzed. That's good. That's good. It's not bad. It's not good either, but yeah, it's better. So he decided to switch out back to, or not back to, but bring in Teslanator. I did fear, you know, being that it could use an Ice Punch, but I actually decided to stay in and went for a Sword Stance. Kind of hoping it didn't have the Ice Punch, obviously. So luckily for me here, I'm actually faster, going for Acrobatics, taking it out. So yeah, Alvin is pulling through. <laughs> then here comes the Girder. I uh, just go for another sword stance. Now in hindsight, I should probably have gone for an acrobatics, but I wasn't sure uh, without the boost of the item that I wouldn't be able to pull through. So we'll go for another. He actually goes for a mag punch, right? Getting some more damage off there. So my uh, jump bluff is actually somewhat in a bad position, but you know, it does what it needs to. His name is Alvin, don't you forget it. But uh, I won't outspeed an Excel goal. You know, Radicate could, could have actually gone against this one rather well with Sucker Punch. So this really really sucked, I need to switch out to my <laughs> clang here. So I'm just gonna go for a flash cannon. Uh, he missed with the focus blast, I mean it sucks for him. Uh, would easily have done around 50%. So he gets a special defensive drop, so he's gonna decide to switch out to his motorboat. Uh, and I just went for flash cannon anyways, in case he decided to actually sack that one. But being that Excelgor is the only thing that is able to outspeed, uh, my jump bluff, I do get why I decided to switch out. So I actually just stayed in for another flash can and think that we would probably switch out to his uh, Electros or Electavire. So nevertheless, I went for a discharge here, did not get a paralyzation, it survived with a glimpse of HP. Uh, and obviously that will take me out. So, yeah. Shit. So I was actually hoping I was faster here, just going for a synthesis. And no. It is scarfed. And that sucks. <laughs> so that is obviously jump bluff out of the way. So right, I don't have any much... I can't really bring too much pressure anymore here. I only got Octillery left and uh, my Slurp Puff, which has already had his item activated. So Ed for Skull taking that one out, so yay me. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So, uh, yeah, like you see here, guys, it was really, really rough for me. That start really screwed me over. So, we will go for an energy ball, easily take me out. I went for a thunder wave in case he decide to be nice to me, but <laughs> no. So, yeah, I'm just gonna bring in my Sunday here, just get a flamethrower up. I know I can take a thunder ball or energy ball, thunder ball. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I will still fall short here to the great Archeops, which I was so sure what he was gonna start with here at the beginning. So yeah, there is not really much more I can say here. I mean, GG, Star Dash of this game. It was a very, very intense one, and uh, yeah, I actually liked it though. I really did. So yeah, thank you everybody for watching. Obviously, this was a very weird battle for me because. That misprediction with my Radicate pretty much made sure that I couldn't really win or I couldn't go toe to toe with uh, Star Dasher. And yeah, uh, yeah, while it's annoying, you know, you kind of have to accept those things. You really have to. Um, and Star Dasher is a great player, so I actually didn't mind losing uh, because I got to showcase both my Jump Love and Clang and trying them out. And I think they worked rather well. I've done some adjustments uh, since then, uh, and I'll try to actually get an another battle upload on Friday. Um, I have had a lot of battles, but sadly they've been really one-sided. Uh, that is that either my opponent was sweeping me or I was sweeping them, and I can't upload those battles. I'd rather upload a battle when I lose, and uh, you know, it gets rather funny. But other than that, guys, don't forget to leave a like. Like I said, their next battle is up on Friday. Uh, I want to thank you all for watching, as always, and have a good day. Alright, guys? Bye.